Greetings. My name is Guy Reams from the, from the Physical Security University Lab at Ingram Micro. Today I'm going to talk about Access cameras and some of the Access software that is available for them. Many people don't realize that IP cameras have come a long way over the last few years. We now have a lot of powerful, powerful features packed in a small, uh, easy to install camera design. There's no better example than that than the new Access M series cameras. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about implementing Access M series cameras with Access software and a very easy to install method for being able to deploy these cameras to solve common problems. Let's go ahead and take a look at Access's website and look at where we can find this particular product. Access, uh, if you go to Access's website, um, uh, if you're on their homepage, you can go to the product section and over on the left hand side you'll find uh, network cameras, video encoders, video management software. If you click on network cameras you can find a variety of uh, network cameras in here. The particular camera that we're looking for is called a fixed dome. Fixed domes are the most popular cameras in the, in the IP camera market. The reason is they're easy, you don't have to worry about lenses, and they're usually pretty easy to mount or install either in a ceiling tile or on a wall. So let's go ahead and take a look at the M series camera. This is the Axis M30 series. This is the particular camera I have here right in front of me. The M30 series has a, a wide variety of features and a very low cost camera. This particular one is the M3004 uh, series camera. This particular camera retails for under $300 uh, and it's actually much cheaper than that. And you're going to find that this camera has a lot of features that you can take advantage of in most small business environments. As you can see, this particular camera has a 720p uh, uh, a megapixel sensor. Uh, it is capable, of, it has a memory card slot and it's capable of a lot of software features which I'm going to be demonstrating in this particular video. Before we get started, there are some software packages you need to have in order to be successful with your deployment of Access cameras. If you go to Access's website and you click on the support link, there's a section of the support link called Downloads. Under Downloads, if you click Download Software, you can find a variety of software packages that are free for your use that we will be using in, in this particular video. The uh, particular packages you're going to need is the Access Camera Companion. This is free software that allows you to uh, manage and record cameras uh, and, and to manage live video and recorded video on your cameras. And this is the tool that I'll be demonstrating today. You'll find for most small office implementations, this is a quick and easy tool to use and it's completely free. The other one that we'll be using is Access Camera Man Management or Access IP Utility. Most people use the Access Camera Management. This tool allows you to manage your cameras, change their IP addresses, change their passwords, and do things like that that you need to do in order to get these cameras prepped and ready to be uh, used uh, for recording or for live monitoring. So go ahead and download these two software packages, especially if you're following along with me. In order to do this, you'll need to have an Access account. Don't worry, the Access account does not cost any money, but you do need to register for an account in order to download these software packages. Now I'm going to demonstrate actually how to set these cameras up. This particular camera comes with a pre-embedded cable. Um, some of the cameras don't, some of them do. In this particular case, you simply need to plug the camera end into a PoE switch, which I will demonstrate in a second. The PoE switch can be a, a, any, any power over Ethernet switch. Most small office PoE switches will work. I'll show you one here uh, in just a minute. When you get these cameras, you'll need to unscrew the two screws on the front to remove the dome cover. Uh, once you remove the cover, you can see access to the lens here, which can tilt, by the way. Uh, and you'll also see that it's got a reset button and a few other features you may have to use. One particular feature I want to focus on is the fact that there's a slot here you can pull away where you can put in an SD card. In this case, I have a micro SD card. Uh, so I went down and I bought at Office Depot a 16 gig uh, micro SD card and I'm going to go ahead and put that micro SD card right inside the slot. On this particular camera you need to be a little careful because if you slide it in incorrectly it'll slide inside the camera housing. Once you've got it in there you simply press it in and when it clicks you now know that it is seated properly. 
Okay, now we're going to talk about actually deploying this camera. In order to get these cameras to work, you must provide them power. The way you do it is you simply run the attached cable of this camera, or if it doesn't have an attached cable, you need to plug a standard patch cord into it, and run that to a standard PoE switch. This particular PoE switch is manufactured by TrendNet. This is a small, very low cost PoE switch. It's actually an eight port switch and the first four ports uh, allow for PoE. In fact, if you look at the front, you'll see the ports one through four are PoE enabled switch. So I basically look at the back of the switch and I run my cable into one of the labeled PoE ports and that provides power to the camera device. The camera will take a few minutes to boot up. Uh, and we'll go ahead and talk about how to install it and configure it here in a second. If you need to extend your cable longer, using a, stand, uh, a standard uh, uh, device like this, which allows you to plug your, uh, your patch cord in on both sides, you can extend the distance of the cable if you require. Okay, once you've plugged your camera into your network using a proper PoE switch, then from, a, from any workstation, uh, you can uh, install the Access Camera Management software and then you'll be able to actually uh, view and run the camera. So you should have downloaded from Access's website the Access Camera Management client. Once you've installed it, you'll get an icon that looks, looks like this, the Access Camera Management client. You'll run that client and it'll open up with an interface that looks like this. What will happen is once you get this up, this, this uh, software will scan your network looking for all access cameras. Now in this lab, I have quite a few access cameras, but in, this, in particular, it will scan for a variety of different cameras and find them. When they come up, you have the opportunity to select them and do, then do several features. You can assign a new IP address to that camera. You can set a password for that camera. You can upgrade the firmware for that camera. Um, you can set date and time on those devices and you can refresh your screen to look for more cameras if you plug some in and I'm refreshing now and you'll see that. Once it refreshes and you're able to identify and find your camera, you'll notice that it shows you the MAC address of the camera. It also shows you what firmware it, firmware it is on and whether or not it's using DHCP. In this particular case, that camera is using DHCP so it automatically went out and found an IP address on my network. So I'm going to click on this and it's going to bring up an interface and it's going to ask me for the password to the camera. Now in this case I've already set a password but um, the username is, is root. Um, by default there is no password assigned to these cameras. You hit the web page for the first time and it requires you to set the password for the first time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and type in the password that I've provided to it and I will now log on to the camera. And once you do so, you'll get a browser interface that looks like this. And this is the uh, setup screen for that particular camera. You can now go through and make all the setup configurations you require for the particular uh, camera. In this case, the M3000 series camera, a 30 series camera. So that's pretty much how you would do your basic configuration. When you boot up a new camera, sometimes you need to change the IP address and assign a new uh, root password for the camera. Okay, once you've successfully managed your camera with the Access Camera Management Tool, you then have the opportunity to actually install the Access Camera Companion software. The Access Camera Companion software allows you to uh, connect to these cameras, manage some of their basic settings, take care of their recording properties, and basically view the camera so you can get something valuable out of them. In this particular case, I'm going to, I've installed the Access Camera Companion, which I showed you how to download off Access's website. The install is real simple, and then you run the Access Camera Companion. When you do so, you'll get an interface that looks like this. When you first boot it up, it'll automatically discover any Access cameras in your network, and it'll set them up. In this particular case, I have several cameras in the lab, and as you can see here, I'm able to click on and view each of these cameras in the lab. You can see me talking here. Hello. And uh, you can see my lab behind me and the table that I'm at. And I can pan through all of my variety of different cameras. You can go and look inside my server room there and a variety of other things. You'll also notice that it added the camera that we put on the table behind me. So the M3004 camera, it automatically added and you can see its MAC address there. Now, if I wanted, you can also view these cameras in, uh, in a large screen view like this where we can view them all in kind of a grid form. 
And then we can now go to this uh, to the setup configuration area, which is this little gear. And when you go there, you can see all of your cameras listed and you can make changes. So for example, I might want to change this one instead of that MAC address, I might want to say Axis M3004V, which is the actual model number of this camera. Uh, now that I've done that, it's gone ahead and made that name change for me. It's going to apply the change. Uh, now that it's done that, you can see that it's automatically been set up. You can see the IP address that we uh, had configured. And then you can see here that you have your storage, your motion recorder, and, and that sort of thing. In this particular case, the camera has that SD card built into it. So what happened is the camera automatically formatted this SD card. And now what it's doing, it's using the camera's local storage to record any recordings. This particular camera has been automatically configured to only record on motion. So whenever there's motion that occurs, notice the checkbox, whenever there's motion that occurs, this camera will automatically pick it up. And then when I go to the recording section, I can see particular recordings for that camera. Now this will take a minute to show up, but you can see here if I go back, you can see that something was indeed recorded during that period of time. You see a little red bar there? So I can play back through what was recorded. You'll notice that it captured the fan up in the ceiling. As the fan was causing motion, the camera was indeed recording. So I'm able to go back and view my motion, and this is recording right to that SD card. So this is a very simple and very clean way to have a small business network with a bunch of small, low-cost cameras with chips embedded right in them. You don't have to worry about storage. You don't have to worry about fancy servers. You only need a workstation running the Access Camera Companion software and cameras with their SD cards in them. Well, you, there you go. That's it. That's your introduction to creating a very quick and easy small business camera monitoring solution using Axis cameras, specifically the M-Series dome cameras, and some of the very powerful free software available to you on Axis.com. Now the rest is up to you. You can come up with some really creative ways to solve unique business problems in and around the idea of capturing video for security reasons or for other particular purposes that you may require. As you get into the actual camera itself, I'm looking at the camera's uh, setup screen here, you can manage this camera and tweak its settings to fit your particular network environment. There's a lot of features in here, and you can see uh, take advantage of a lot of these features in order to solve particular problems or to, or to adapt the camera to your particular environment. I don't have time in this video to cover all of it, but go to access.com so you can find out what, what some of those features might be that you could take advantage of. So there you go. I'm glad I got to show you these uh, particular features of this camera and this software. Uh, once again, I'm Guy Reams from Ingram Micro, and this has been a video presentation on access cameras and software.